What started as a simple trip to China for Edward Ndekere has turned into new opportunities for Kenyan artists. Ndekere, an art lecturer at the Kenyatta University, was initially approached to donate 20 pieces of art towards the Chinese Hope Schools so as to assist in funding the education project. The Hope Schools, a Chinese project that provides learning facilities to impoverished children in Kenya, led to the realization that Kenyan art has an audience abroad. When I took the, my painting to China, it was auctioned for 1.5 million Chinese yuan. At that time, one yuan was 12.5 yes. Kenya shillings. So if you do the mathematics, it comes to almost some 20, over 20 million Kenya shillings. Apart from its financial benefits, the venture is intended to facilitate an interchange of culture between Kenya and China. The Chinese art curator says the use of paintings and sculptures speaks louder to a foreign audience than books due to the language barrier. He's one artist who recently sold a piece for 2.1 million here in Kenya. Yeah. A Kenyan bought it. Ndekere said the venture will help enhance the appreciation of art in Kenya, which is currently not largely recognized as an independent profession. Art is actually much more enjoyable and much more uh, lucrative than any other career. If it's handled well and you did it as a business, not as a hobby the way people do it here and not, uh, you know, you can actually go far. Ndekere also sought to justify the relatively expensive cost of purchasing art material. If somebody bought an artwork for 100,000, they will not put it behind the cupboard or somewhere. They would like to show it off. But if you give them for free, they'll go and put it in the store and forget it. So for a craft that has long been deemed as a mere hobby in Kenya, this collaboration between a Chinese and Kenyan curator seeks to prove that art is indeed a lucrative profession. Melvin Ochieng, Citizen at One.